Hello boys and girls, this is Axel from The Metamorphic Way. A quick reading, oh my god, <laughs> very quick indeed. Um, because because I'm going to the garden, things to do really. Um, I hope you're doing great, oh my goodness, we have plenty, plenty, plenty. Okay, two more. Right, I hope you're going well. <laughs> it's all over the place today again. I hope you're doing well, I hope you uh, really... Keep it together because I know it can be kind of challenging to um, stay indoors and to stay put. Um, we are kind of busy being. We like to keep busy. And yeah, it's quite, a, you know, an adjustment. And some days are good. Some days are not so good. We're not the ones who, who should be complaining. However, we cannot ignore neither um, how we feel. Trying to stay cool and and positive when we don't really feel like this is quite dangerous for your um, mental well-being so if you don't feel so good left so be it you know what i'm saying uh, and that's okay uh, don't try to maintain appearances if you don't feel that great trying to keep your body moving so then you calm the mind just doing you know work out or whatever move your body at least move your body so do it something like that but i'm not gonna go there I promise you <laughs> so anyway trying to um release whatever emotion you have because sometimes it's quite tricky to maintain um mental well-being i know we're not in the front line most of us uh so we shouldn't be complaining we're not complaining but we have to be honest with our emotions so if i must just say something today just be honest and if you need to maybe you write down what you feel or record it if you don't feel like writing so do it do something that makes you feel creative make you feel you know better about yourself because it's you know almost i mean it's the third week Next week is going to be the month of uh, confinement. It's something we did not expect happening this year. So, okay, be gentle with yourself. I'm trying to say that. I'm not going to spend Christmas over this, but I felt that it was important today to say something like this. Anyway, right, King of Cups. So a bit of ambivalence here it could be yourself, you know, in that kind of, ooh, I don't know how to feel. There's also this card, Two of Pentacles, uh, which also means a bit of a... Uh, juggling and maybe that's what you do at the moment you juggling emotion uh, when it comes to the king of cups is generally um, a feel for um, and Timothy at the same time not wanting to commit to anything or anyone uh, to a pentacle is a juggling of either people a lot of people in the house maybe at the moment with the family but also emotion you'd be like Maybe you want this, but you want that as well. Maybe you'll be all over the place. And um, there's a little bit as well, Five of Cups as well, when you you know, you look back at what you used to have and maybe there was a freedom of movement that you don't have anymore. I'm with you. Uh, and you look at that with a bit of sorrow and, and sadness and maybe as well worry. Um, but you do have as well the Queen of Cups, which is, again, a lot of emotion, a lot of... Um, it's quite enigmatic as well, but it's something that you hide to yourself maybe or to others. Maybe you want to look like everything is fine. You want to be the smiley one, the positive one. But you know what? We all have good days and bad days. And sometimes I don't feel particularly good, but I go, you know, uh, to the garden, do some, some things or do my abs exercise. I hope you keep doing it. And, uh, and I feel a bit better because I move my body or I put a lot in my writing and I just kind of escape from a, a bad day. We all have a good day and bad day again that is seven of pentacles this idea of choice something new something you also more used to what do you do maybe it's two people maybe it's a new person you you know starting to feel very you know very close to and maybe you're not supposed to because you have someone else yeah it's one of those situations uh, but don't judge yourself about it it's one of those moments it's just a moment as i said i think yesterday when we are in that kind of energy of confinement deal with your emotion but don't take drastic uh, decision because you don't have all the details all the elements all the context you might not be able to to make an you know an informed decision so 
Be aware of your emotion, but don't make drastic decisions. And then we have the Five of Swords, which again could be kind of the same idea in a sense like you can feel maybe victorious, um, but you might also take too much on your shoulder, too much responsibility. Maybe you cannot be 100% superwoman or superman. You have good days, you have bad days, and you're a human being. Hello. <laughs> And also, I mean, we have under the deck the Nine of Wands, which is probably how you feel at the moment. Uh, generally, under the deck is the current feeling is, yeah, you have to, you know, show a lot of courage, a lot of resilience at the moment. And yes, you do, but you don't have to neither. You can also be vulnerable. You can just say, listen, today I don't feel that great. I maybe need a bit of a support. Maybe you can contact someone you like, um, someone that... Uh, is meaningful or someone you know will bring a bit of I don't know share um, a bit of wisdom with you or acknowledgement or just be there for you and just listen and maybe that's all you need at the moment so don't think that just because uh, you are who you are superman and superwoman then you have to be like this every day you don't have to and you know we come to as I say the third week very close to a month of confinement it is something quite enormous to take on and you made it so far well done you i know there's a lot of people who are fighting for their life so that's of course the most uh you know most important battle of their life however you being maybe in a difficult time by yourself confined uh is also a difficult time so acknowledge that and trying to find ways to calm yourself down to release uh you know by yourself we are here all of us with you. So you take care and we see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Ciao.